this is the structure of builder pattern we will see how this is implemented in ruby source here is the class director and this is the initialize method of director inside this we are setting instance variable builder with nil and here is the method set builder with parameter builder obj inside this we are setting instance variable builder with this parameter builder obj here is the method construct with parameter name this method is used for constructing the product inside this we are checking if name value is equal to product1 then it uses these statements for building the product otherwise if name value is product2 then it uses these statements for building the product so if name is equal to product1 then it calls the method create of builder then it calls the method build part a and build part b for building parts of the product similarly in case of product2 it calls the method create of builder then it calls the method build part c and build part d for building the parts of the product here is the class builder it has method create build part a build part b build part c and build part d so these methods must be defined in subclasses otherwise if they are used then it will throw error here is the subclass concrete builder 1 derived from builder and this is the initialize method of concrete builder 1 inside this it sets the instance variable product with nil and here it implements the method create inside this it's creating product 1 object and assigning it to instance variable product and here it implements the method build part a build part b build part c and build part d and here they are not doing any operation but in real they will be building parts of the product here is the implementation of method get product inside this it's returning instance variable product value which will be pointing to product one object here is the subclass concrete builder 2 derived from builder and this is the initialize method of concrete builder 2 inside this it sets the instance variable product with nil and here it implements the method create inside this it's creating product to object and assigning it to instance variable product here is the implementation of methods build part a build part b build part c and build part d here they are not doing any operation but in real they will be building parts of the product and here is the implementation of method get product inside this it returns the instance variable product value which is pointing to product to object here is the class product one it has method use product which is just displaying this statement and here is the class product two it has method use product and this method is just displaying this statement okay we will see how all these classes are used here we are creating director object and we are assigning it to variable director and here we are creating concrete builder one object and we are assigning it to variable builder1 and then we are calling the method set builder where we are passing 
builder one as parameter so it will go to director set builder so it will come here and it will set instance variable builder with the parameter builder obj parameter builder obj is builder one which is pointing to concrete builder one object so builder is now concrete builder one object here concrete builder one object is assigned to builder one which is passed as parameter and here we are calling the method construct with parameter product one so it will go to director construct so it will come here and since this parameter value is product one so it will come inside if condition so here it is calling the method create of builder builder is pointing to concrete builder one object so it will go to concrete builder one create so it will come here here it will create product one object and that object will be assigned to instance variable product and then it is calling the method build part a and build part b of builder so it will go to concrete builder one build part a and build part b so it will come here so here it builds the parts of the product and then it will come back here and here it is calling the method get product of builder one so builder one is pointing to concrete builder one object so it will go to concrete builder one get product so it will come here so it will return the instance variable product which is pointing to product one object so when the method use product is called it goes to product one use product so it will come here and it will display this okay similarly here we are creating concrete builder 2 object and we are assigning to variable builder 2 and then we are calling the method set builder for setting the builder and here builder2 is passed as parameter so it will set the instance variable builder of director with builder2 which is pointing to concrete builder2 object so it comes here and this will set with builder obj builder obj is pointing to concrete builder 2 object so here the method construct is called with parameter product 2 and builder is concrete builder 2 object so it will come here and this time it will come to the else part it will call the method create or builder so it will come here as builder is pointing to concrete builder 2 object so here it is creating product 2 object and that object is assigned to instance variable product then it calls the method build part c and build part d of builder so it will go to concrete builder 2 build part c and build part d will be executed for building parts of the product so here 
it created object of product to then it's building part of the product then the method get product of builder2 is called which returns the instance variable product value which is pointing to product2 to object so when the method use product is called it goes to use product of product2 and it will display this statement okay we will run this program and we will see the output you can see when the use product is called here it goes to product1 use product because through this through get product of builder1 we are getting product1 object So here when the method use product is called it comes here and it is displaying this and when the method use product is called here it will go to use product of product 2 because here get product is returning product 2 object. concrete builder to create is creating product to object which is assigned to product and here get product is returning product to object so in this case it will come here and it will display this